Good morning guys, welcome back to another video. First so, thing, first things first, this will be our last video together for the time being as local lockdowns for me has come into what's the way I'm thinking of it come into place. Place. As of I don't know why I completely forgot what the word was then, but yeah, as so, of so, like so going Saturday. forward yeah. So going forward it'll be videos on Zoom and all that lot like we did before. Just to set up anyway. Back to the original video. Oh well. Right, so I've had my iPhone for so technically technically seven days of phone recording. Yeah. Yeah, basically yeah. And today we're gonna do the review. And by we I mean you are. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll actually have you here. Yes. This is the last time we've been together. So I did write a list. I only started a list. But I never actually finished it. You literally just got two things on it. I know. One of them is literally just. Yeah. <laughs> so you've only got one thing. No, two. No. Oh. No, oh, you put it as. Oh, okay. So we're not going to go by that. So, iPhone 12. Camera, very good. Uh, apart from when you're editing non HDR video, video and. HDR video together, but we're not going to go into that because it's tech and we're not going to go into yeah, that. This could also be part of editing program. What's the editing program called? Uh, Final Cut Pro. Could also be Final Cut Pro called yeah. issues, but we don't know. So we're not going to go into that, but the videos are great uh, raw, um, when taking them. So, slow mo is very good. I tried it on at uh, Full Park on Saturday. It's very good. Go check out the vlog. Uh, so, the only thing really I miss about having an Android phone is the always on display. It's one of those things that you always have yeah. that you didn't realise until you lost I've it. had the always on display since the Galaxy 8. No, tell the lie, Galaxy 6. Edge. Yeah, 6 Edge. Because the Edge 6 had uh, like a mini one on the Edge. Um, so that's a bit weird not to have after about five years of having it. Um, okay, what about cables? Is there anything about cables you don't like? Or? No, uh, apart from I had to buy another couple of cables uh, and an extra plug. But I would have bought them anyway, even though they didn't want the box or not. Because the one in the Apple box is really small. So I probably would have bought extra anyway. Okay. Uh, while it's charging is fine. I haven't got any MagSafe accessories yet. Uh, yet. Yet. <laughs> uh, I was hoping to get the wallet thing, but it's not finished. arrived. Yeah. Uh, I ordered it, but I'm going to cancel it. I'm going to store and buy it but anyway. Um, also, I have the Apple Watch Series Six because I couldn't wait. <laughs> I knew you wouldn't wait. Yeah, yeah, you wouldn't wait. Uh, the Apple Watch Series Six is good. The first thing I noticed was with the mobile data. If you have it on all day and you were not near your phone, the battery will drain. And I mean, it was like 33% at like 12 o'clock. I didn't think it was going to last the whole day, but magically it did, because I turned the mobile off. <laughs> My opinion on it... Down, we don't know. ...is that I don't understand why you have a smartwatch with mobile data. Any smartwatch with mobile data. Because you've always got your phone with you, so... What? That's my thing about SIM cards and, and smartphones. Watches and get. I don't think point about Well, I had to get on contact anyway because I can't afford to pay all once. So yeah, I know. We'll we'll have to just take, that's just my note about every smartphone, every smart watch that has a SIM card. Right, anyway, moving on. Apple Pay on here is good, apart from the whole Face ID thing with the mask at the moment. Uh, you have to enter passcode. So on the watch, it's a lot better. You can just press a button and boom, done. I can see that being a safety thing as well. Being wrong. Yeah. But then I could I easily take a watch. Though, couldn't no, I? because, because Eric, if you take it off. If yeah, you can take it off. Yeah, I can take it off. Yeah. Shut up. <laughs> if you take it off, see the lock? I see. No one can do it without the passcode. So what you're saying is I should chop your hand off. Out of curiosity, I wonder if I put it on my hand, if it will actually detect. 
No, because even if you put it on your wrist, you still have to suck that through then. Okay. Also, one thing I didn't like about this watch, not the watch generally really, is the strap it came with. Now the strap it came with was very, very stupid, in my opinion. I think I saw it over there actually. So it was a small hand. Boom, so. And it was like, so, the watch is like that, so you have to put that in, no. Without putting it on, I don't know how to do it. So, you put that. Yeah, so you put it through there. No, no. And then, no. It's going around your wrist. No. No. Stupid, go on. So you have to hold that. Was it the way around? It was that way around. So, you have to put them, put that on the thing first, that on there okay. first, and then fed that through there. Okay, that's, that's quite awkward, isn't it? I don't know. Without actually drawing it on, I can't. Don't okay. know. But it was very awkward. Um, so the first thing I did was buy another strap. Not the 91, 99 pound metal strap Apple Cell, a cheap one from Amazon. I got two. Oh, that's not the 99. No. I was going to say 9 No, it's not the 9 one. I'm not going to play that. It looks, I think that looks nicer compared to the other one, plastic one anyway. Yeah, and it's... With it being magnetic as well, it's quite Yeah, it's, it's really good. Uh, I've had magnetic in my last watch and it just slid out. It slid down the whole time. Mm. But this one hasn't. hasn't. Uh, so it's good. Also, it's very weird having a round, no, a straight... A square. A square watch. Uh, I've had round watches for ages. So it's quite weird having a square watch. Uh, this is the 44mm version silver. I wasn't going to get the red, but it looked a bit stupid, so I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a little bit bad that no. the actual watch is red as well. Yeah, I know. I know my red one. Where's what I found? Good old Siri. Um. <laughs> Go away. Uh, that's another thing I like to really Siri. <laughs> It's another thing I haven't activated Siri. Well, not, not voice recognition, you know what I mean? Yeah, I just don't, don't see why you haven't done that yet. Because I don't use it. Okay. I don't use it. I don't, never, I've never used Big B, I never used Google. Yeah, but you Unless I'm trying to spell something. You could use it to turn your light on. I don't think I can. No, you should be able to. Hang on, let's try it, aren't I? Yeah. <laughs> yes, you are. Let's show me a set up, I'm not sure. It'll be whatever's in, be in the app. Because your, your iPhone should be able to interface with the app and all these series are The app? No, oh, we'll talk about that. <laughs> We're going off tangents here. Uh, hey, one thing I learned today as well is iPhones don't have a fingerprint sensor. This completely, this brought, this was brought I can't believe you didn't know that. No, I honestly didn't know that. It was while shocked when you looked to be awkwardly in, um, when we had a meal. I was like, I honestly didn't know. <laughs> Speaking of fingerprint, Face ID is very, very good. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Recognition. That, that's so great. Biometrics. Really so biometrics. <laughs> we'll go with biometrics. Okay. Speaking of biometrics, uh, Face ID is very good. I say it was every time. It, it, it works. Nice enough. It works when you're not showing anyone. Yeah. It works. Yeah. <laughs> well, that time. Yeah, okay. You probably weren't on the big camera either, but. No. I don't know. What, what yeah, but the majority of it, it does work. Uh, I do like Face ID. It's very convenient. Uh, I think it's more convenient than a fingerprint sensor. I know I did try and have a face scanner on my S8, didn't I? And I hated it. No, I'm surprised you didn't have it on your S10. I probably did have it on the S10, but I didn't use it. I didn't activate it. Probably. Because it was, it was stupid. Because uh, it would unlock the phone for you, where this one is, you can still see everything before you have to unlock it. There we go. Oh no, I'm just going to see if mine. No, mine doesn't. Yeah. But Maybe I'm sure it's the, just a Samsung thing then. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure the one on the S8 when it first came out. Yeah, it used to do that. Yeah. It used to be really quick as well. Yeah. I remember. 
we do have a video on our YouTube channel somewhere about it. Um, but yeah, all in all, I'm, I'm happy. Uh, I'm not at the moment. I'm not going back to Android. Uh, that might change by the time I get another new phone in another two years. But we'll see. I don't think it will. Two years. Mm -hmm. Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> Since the person who paid for two contracts as well. <laughs> what? You were paying for two. What's that? Yeah, thank you. Because <laughs> well, I mainly used it as my work and then personal, but yeah. <laughs> but now I'm paying for one now. Oh, you finally cancelled it then? Finally. I was like, it only took 18 weeks. <laughs> <laughs> Probably isn't even an exaggeration, to be honest. <sighs> anyway. Uh, no, I have not got a case on it. I'm not planning to put a case on it, and I did buy one, but I put it on yet. Uh, all the videos that I've seen, drop tests, is, drop tests are, are, it doesn't match, so I'm not worried. Uh, I haven't bought any Apple Care yet. That must mean that that would then be prone to scratches. Yes, it is quite prone to scratches, but. Because you can't have the best of both worlds. You no. either have it, yeah. it cracks when you drop it, or you have it scratched. I don't think it scratches more than any other phone. From what I've seen, anyway. What's it? So, so you've only had it for a week. It, yeah. No one's really had it. <laughs> no one even at work, so. Yeah. Uh, I don't think there's anything else. I mentioned Apple Pay. Uh, what about the notch at the top? What's your thoughts on that? Doesn't bother me at all. I haven't noticed it. Okay. Uh, I thought it might, but now it's, I haven't noticed it. Uh, battery life. It's okay. Uh, it lasts me to the end of the day. So it lasts what, me. What sort of percentage drop during the day? I think. On a typical work day? On a work day, so day to day, at the moment it's at 78%. So it's dropped, let's say, 20%. Yeah. And... But if I uh, say. But that's, that's typical work yeah. day. Not really so, so Sunday, when I went to Hall Park, I think I got home, it was like 30%, maybe 20%. You would have probably a few videos yeah. there as well. Okay. So it lasted me the whole day. As long as it lasts me the whole day, I don't mind. Uh, be worth like in a month or like a year time something, see if that changes. Yeah. But this has a battery health thing, so we'll see how that goes on. Yeah, so I mean, it's too early on yeah. to tell. <laughs> but all the video, the video I watched did have me worried about the battery life because the 12 Pro actually died before the 11, so it did run me a bit, but it's fine. Uh, that's about, this is the thing I'm moving out anyway, yeah. What about audio quality of phone calls? Have you been you know had a chance to use for the uh, 5G? I had 5G on the train <laughs> coming to London uh, for like two minutes, maybe. Okay, what was it? Yeah, it was alright. What's your thought? I think I did take a screenshot actually. Uh, it was good, it was alright. I didn't really notice much difference, if I'm honest. Well, to be honest, you don't tend to get into that on the no. train, so. Because it's the first 5G phone we've we've had in it. Mm. So interesting to see. Um, what else is there? Uh, it's weird not having a back button. Oh, yes. yes. That is weird. The amount of times I've gone, oh, no, can't do that. <laughs> I was going to say, what's it like? not having a home button but I realised you haven't had an iPhone before with a home button no. so you wouldn't know that. Um, what about multitasking? So, yeah that's, that's an annoying thing actually. So, no, when it works. So, obviously there's no close all button. So you have to swipe them all individually to close them. Which I would have thought Apple did by now but no. But might be hidden behind gesture. You might have to use like three fingers or something. Maybe. Just have a look into that. Maybe, yeah. Well, I'll, I'll have a look into that because Yeah. If you had like a hundred pages over, that would take some time to clear. So. Yeah. Look into that. Let me. No, it's just. No. It'll, just look into it. Yeah. There might already be a yeah. solution to that. Uh, where's the audio? The... Uh. Uh, audio I haven't really tested because I've been watching videos from my AirPods. Uh, so, if you try now. <coughs> I 
What about Bluetoothing things to things? I know you had that issue with thing last week. You tried to. Well, that I do. It's either Samsung. You probably asked Samsung to your iPhone, your iPhone to your Samsung. It didn't work. I think Apple has always done that. I can't remember what it was now. Was it like a video or a photo or something? Maybe. I think this is. Yeah, I couldn't. I don't think I could send a video or photo to my. from a Samsung to my iPhone. Yeah. I send it to my iMac. I, I have to my... always always done that. Yeah, that's me. weird. I don't understand why. Uh, well, this is what's causing issues with the recent app that yeah. has been involved. There's been issues with that. Anyway, uh, trying to find a quick video. The irony if you click the S10 version. <laughs> Watching the S10 video on your iPhone. Uh, that one. No. That one. Probably not the best video to use. Really. No, probably not. To be honest, but <laughs> I would put some sort of movie video on it, but yes, copyright. Yeah. <laughs> uh. I can't even play either. No. Anyway. You can't. I've got it on here, but... He'll, he'll try it out at some point. Yeah. Uh, I don't think there's literally anything else. Have you used the LiDAR thing? Yeah. Or if you have... You I don't know. think there's a way to use it by... Actually... Okay. I don't... I think it's more for autofocus reasons. Ah, okay. I think... And like like dark video, like dark pictures. Okay. Um, that, that that's some lost poten potential there because <laughs> maybe it, does, use it probably does have it probably does do AR apps as well. Is it called AR. It's for distance, but yeah. No. Where things appear on the screen. Or and you, can, you don't need the lidar for that. You could you you can use lidar for like distancing. Measure how far away that is. Oh, uh, right. You okay. can do that kind of thing. No, I haven't tried so I'm sub There's lost potential. If they, they've locked it out to people, which Apple probably could. No, they have. No, they, no I'm, sure they, I'm sure there's a way you can measure something with it. Okay. I don't know. Maybe. I'm sure you can. What about the dual flash? I haven't really used that either, to be honest. Okay. Uh, I've used all the cameras. They're pretty damn good. Uh, I don't know why I didn't go to iPhone sooner because the cameras are absolutely amazing. Um, so much better than my S10. As well. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. What? Nothing. What have you done? Nothing. Uh -huh. You're acting suspicious. <laughs> I'm done. Don't smoke me then! <laughs> <clears throat> right, thank you for watching this video. I don't know what he's on about, but thank you for watching this video. He's scaring me now. I know it's almost Halloween, but come on! It's <sighs> right, I'm surprised you managed to wear your mask all the video. I haven't. Uh... <laughs> yes. Yeah, so thank you all for watching. Um, <laughs> write down in the comments below what your thoughts are. Uh, if you've got an iPhone or well, even if you don't like iPhones, uh, write down what you don't like about it or yeah. comment down below. Let us know what you think. Um, <laughs> obviously, mind her again, going forward, it will be on Zoom. Be on Zoom right? Or by So, <laughs> quality will decrease slightly, yeah. but unfortunately, but that's just what we're going to have to deal with at the point. Yeah. Right? That's the norm now. Right. right. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We've got the Twitter and face, Facebook. Yep, that's it. Fantastic. Okay. Bye guys.